Hello, hello, hello everyone. Thanks for stopping by Spirit of Me 1111. It's your girl Stardust 1111 here with you bright and early on this lovely, lovely Saturday. Today is, what would it be, April 5th or 6th or something like that? I don't know the date. It's one of those, 5th or 6th. Nope, it's six. Trying to think about it. that new moon yesterday, and I sure love me some new moon. Got my new moon manifestations and intentions set and ready to go. I hope everyone out there is taking advantage of that. Okay, all right. So without further ado, let's get into the informational part here. I am doing May 2019 reading for the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn is an earth sign. Um, so this could resonate for the Virgo or Taurus as well. It's, that's our element. I am a Virgo. So hey, how you doing? Earth signs. Cross watchers are welcome. So hopefully, maybe some of your energies will show up here and we can know um, who all is out there so I can get shots out accordingly. All right. So this one will resonate with all of the Capricorns. You guys do have the option of getting in touch with me. Information will be down below in the description box of how to reach me there for those personal private readings. Thanks to everyone who's been liking, sharing, and subscribing to my videos. You guys are totally legit and awesome for that. Thank you so much. And, um, what am I forgetting here? Just slipped my mind. I hate when that happens. So, yeah, um, and for everyone who's been getting those personal privates, like I said, it's just amazing. You guys are awesome, and I'm having a really, really awesome time doing them. I'm learning and finding myself along the way as I'm helping you guys. So, this is a journey for all of us. Okay, energies here can be um, reversed. If you need to for your situation, if that that resonates, take it. That that doesn't leave it for someone who does, right? Resonate for and with. And I'd like to tell you the tarot is timeless. These can be events that have happened already in your life that are currently taking place and that, or that are going to take place here in the near future for you Capricorns out there. All right, without further ado now, let's get into your reading. For May 2016, spirits. Let me get some cards for the sign of Capricorn for May 20. Did I say 2016? I don't know why I got this 2016 on my mind. I'm in 2019. I think I said 2016. I heard myself say it. Well, I'm correcting myself right now. May 2019. That's what happened when it's early, y'all. It's like 7 a.m. and I'm in video number two or three. <laughs> I'm just rocking. I'm ready to rock and hungry. I'm gonna go make me and my kids some pancakes. And I'm done with this reading before I do anybody else's reading. So I don't have any more brain farts. <laughs> so bear with me. You awesome, awesome beings out there. All right. Capricorn. May 2019. May 2019. Spirit of the sign of Capricorn. Let's give these lovelies some information. Someone has questions out there. Someone needs answers. Someone wants to know what's going on with their situation. Spirit, let's provide that. Okay. Okay, we're starting off with the Six of Cups. And I'm taking the next card that follows as well. I just take what I feel that I need to take. If I see that card and if, like, I'm intuitively guided to pull that card, because I only usually take one from the bottom. But uh, I do what I need to do how I need to do it. I'm going to take that one too, to tell you guys the truth. So, you got that Six of Cups energy here. That's reconciliation. That's something or someone from your past coming back. Okay, coming to reconcile. So you definitely have that type of energy here. Something or someone from the past wants to come back. They want to come back and they want to communicate. That Eight of Wands, that's communication. This card can come into play when someone is going to be taking a trip uh, by air. Okay, someone could be coming to you from your past that's going to be traveling by air. Okay, by plane that can be coming to you or coming in really, really quick with communication, with a message. Because they're having those fond memories of you from the past and they want to reconcile. They want to come to you and they have a lot on their mind. They have a lot to get off their mind and their chest. And you could be dealing with a Leo. But that strength card here, that's Leo energy. So you could definitely be dealing with the Leo. Okay. And um, I don't do any traditional spread. I don't follow any formats. I just pull cards and tell the story how I feel that I need to do for that particular reading. Okay. So... The Leo card here, strength. So your person that's coming back from the past with that fiery communication that has a lot on their chest that they want to get off, um, could be a Leo. And more than that, you're going to need to be strong, okay? Um, you're going to need to be really, really strong 
and, and dealing with this person because this is going to be a challenge for you. Um, but you can definitely um, emotionally win the situation over by just standing in your own power. Just being strong, being that strong person that you know how to be so well. So you have that strength card showing up here, letting you know to be strong for this information when this person comes about. Because this could maybe very well be a very emotional connection. They could be bringing a lot of things back to the surface or forefront for you. And it may have at some point hurt you. Because you and this person are not in communication. If there's someone from the past wanting to reconcile and come in with communication, it's because you're not talking or communicating right now. So be strong when that connection comes about. You have judgment here. Um, that's like the karma card. Look at that. Like Gabriel blowing his trumpet. Um, you're being called to awaken from the universe. There's some um, synchronistic events that are taking place in your life. Um, so pay attention to numbers, to reoccurring dreams, and to things that just um, seem to stand out and jump out at you. Like like the epiphany moment. Like, oh my goodness. Or like a deja vu. Like it feels like you've lived that before. Then that's your judgment. That is your awakening from the higher realms, the spiritual realms. So be looking out and paying attention for that. Then we have the Four of Pentacles here. Um, holding on really, really tight. Not letting go. Possessive and controlling. This is probably your person. Yeah. It's probably been your person in the past. So with the judgment in here, and when it comes to karma and dealing in matters of karma, that karma could have been the destruction of that relationship and that connection. If you got someone that's holding on too tight in fear of losing, then that that you hold the most, that you show um, desperation for, you repel that. You repel that, okay? So instead of bringing that towards you, you're pushing it away from you. So you probably caused that distance yourself while that communication card is there. You could have very well, or your person, if this being your person. Um, on the other end of the spectrum, this four of pentacles here, it could be that, you know, you just really need to control your spending right now. You could be spending out of control recklessly. This is a very stingy, greedy person, a person that likes to hoard and keep things for themselves. So if you're dealing with that type of energy, with that type of person, then um, know that. Be strong. Be strong and letting go because it's probably what's going to have to happen and take place because when you love something, you set it free. And if it comes back, it was meant to be. So be really, really strong in dealing with that person and that type of energy, all right? Three of Cups. You could be having... Um, celebration something to celebrate a reason to celebrate going out with the girls hanging out having a party the universe could be telling you go on and party when that person from your past comes back this could be a friend this could be family someone that you've just had a severed relationship or a connection with for quite a while here so when that communication comes back in be strong stand in your strength stand in your power but don't be too controlling of the situation. You got to let go of shit that has hurt you in the past. You got to let go of those situations that didn't work out and move forward into that Three of Cups type of energy. You could be getting invited to a party or just needing to spruce up, go throw on some lipstick, throw on some fucking girl heels and get out and live your best life. Have some fun. Okay. Um, with that Three of Cups type of energy too, that's usually showing up like... Uh, the one night stand card, like your person enjoying the company of someone else or someone else, like more than one person. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of red flags that are pointing to that for me. So I'm saying that you have reason to celebrate your person that's coming back into your life from the past. That's coming in fast with that fiery energy. Um, those wands, that's fire energy. Okay, that's Aries, Leo, and Sag. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Capricorn, that's coming in. Okay, or it could be that Leo. So keep that in mind. Then you have the Six of Wands, victory. Congratulations on the job well done. You have reason to celebrate. Victory is yours. It's going to be on your side. If you don't have it or reason to celebrate it now, know that with this Three of Cups here and, and the Six of Wands, something is going to blow your mind. This person might come pop the question. I don't know. I'm just saying. They may come and pop the question here. Did you have that eight of wands? That's fiery energy. They want that. Your person wants to come back. Let's see what the deck has for us. You got ten of cups. So you could very well be celebrating that happily ever after that you've been long 
and searching for in your life that missing link into your life that piece of the puzzle that you just never quite had so you're gonna have reason to celebrate something's gonna come your way you could be getting engaged this person could be coming in to tell you hey you're getting engaged like your judgment day has come all that you have put out into the universe the good that you've done right with that judgment card with that time card is coming back your way now you can let go of things that you've been holding on to too tight in fear of losing it because sometimes you have to lose things. You have to allow for the old to fade out so that the new can come in. You have to allow that. It's called allowing the process and the universe. Spirit, I'd like to clarify for the Capricorns here, if you will. Um, let's get clarifying here. Um, the Ten of Cups, again, that's very, very happy. Love life. You're fulfilled. You're happy. That's you or your person wanting marriage, wanting kids, wanting to be together, wanting to settle down. Like, the best life ever. You know, you're, you could be living with your person, um, be it in a marriage or just a really, really committed long-term relationship. You have the energy of that here on your side. You got really, really good cards here. Three of Cups, Ten of Cups, and um, Six of Wands. You definitely have something to celebrate coming your way in May, Capricorn, and that's what's up. Um, comment down below in the description box and let me know for some of you who um, this is really hitting home with. I would love to know your stories. I love to hear your stories and thank you all in advance for sharing the with you. Alright, so let's get clarifying here. Alright, spirits. So, ha ha, ha ha. So, what we have is the wish fulfilled card, right? Your wish fulfilled. That's like your person here wanting everything they could possibly want with you and more than that having that come into fruition you know having th this connection being their wish fulfilled wanting that with you like everything they wished and hoped and prayed for being so happy and elated to have it when you have it you are celebrating look at that look at those cups look at them celebrating all dressed up out having a good time living their best life victory you've won Victory, congratulations, you're being recognized. This is public recognition for a job well done. You could have secured the man, the relationship, and you are going to have public recognition of that. Your person is taking your situation to a whole nother level. Game changer for you. That's what's up. Um, at the bottom, we have four of pentacles again, and I'm going to take it because it's clarifying this four of pentacles, and these are clarifiers, right? So again, you are holding on to something too tight, being controlling or possessive. You're going to repel the very thing that you want. Be strong and let go. Let go, and you're definitely in separation from your person. You are definitely um, in separation from your person. I have a four of swords here. That's rest. You need to heal yourself and, and restore and rest. Fall back. Just take the time you need for yourself right now. This could just be mental healing. You can just need to heal yourself from everything you've been through. Persevere. Um, the resilience that it takes to bounce back from that situation that has come along and broken you, that has caused a rift between you and your person, you're on break right now. Some of you could be overcoming a physical ailment, like a sickness of some sort. It could be um, chemodialysis. This can go really, really deep when it comes to that four of swords type of energy, but it is about someone in a phase of restoring, relaxing, and healing. You're healing yourself. You're healing yourself. And um, because better, brighter days are ahead, right? You have that Ten of Pentacles here. So not only do you have the, the wish fulfilled, the, the Ten of Cups, you have the Ten of Pentacles here. That's like the happiest you can be. That's grounded. This person wants to come into your life and offer you those tens. Tens are about completion. You have two tens here. I don't see any more. You have two tens here. Tens are about um your uh, completion you complete your person your person completes you or this situation that's coming into play here is going to be a game changer i got my four clarifiers and that's usually all i pull so i'm going to leave it there so like i said i hope this reading really really helps someone out there capricorns may seems like a really really good month for you you have the recognition you want you have your person from the past um coming back into your life with that fiery fiery message a lot on their mind a lot on their chest they want to get off they want to talk about and um that's something good coming back your way you're being awakened you're being reminded by the universe that um you are worthy of this that's coming in so stop holding on too tight you got that four of pentacles clarifying strong strong message from spirit let go let go of the things that do not serve you heal yourself rest restore and um and heal yourself
Heal yourself. This is your time to fall back and heal yourself. Do your inner work right now on yourself. Work on yourself so when your person comes, you can be strong. Build your strength right now. That's all you need to do is build your strength. And based on how you handle your person and your situation when they come back, when the offer is going to be made, it's going to bring you awesome. It's, it's going to bring you great. This May is a really, really good month for you, Capricorn. I'm so happy to be able to do this reading for you and to share the message with spirit. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. Namaste.